Hello and welcome to the Simply Listed tutorial for how to make embroidery mock-ups automated. Now I will cover right away that Simply Listed cannot convert your normal design into looking like an embroidered design. So we'll show you the fastest way that I like to use to convert these designs to looking embroidery and then upload them into Simply Listed in this tutorial. So coming over to Simply Listed, I'll show you what this looks like. So this is the completed design. So this is the embroidered looking file added on top of the mockups here. And I'll show you exactly how to create a template that every time you make an embroidered file, you can just upload that file to Simply Listed and we can add that embroidered looking design to all of your mockups and show you exactly how to publish it directly to Etsy. For this type of item, you do need to use a custom template. So here on Simply Listed, and if you haven't signed up for Simply Listed yet, we do have a seven day free trial linked in the description for you, or just go to simplylisted.io. You just need to come to new template and click select custom templates. Since this isn't something we're pulling directly from Printify, you will be uploading your own file. And again, I'll show you how that works. Here you'll be telling us how large your mockup photos are, or you'll actually just be uploading your mockups directly to Simply Listed. Now I do recommend if you edit them beforehand. So in this example here, these are the mockups I'll be using for the Gildan 18,000. I saved all the mockups on one Canva file. I cropped them and made them all the same size, including any size charts, color charts, or size guides, any photo cards you want included. It is easiest if you save these all at once before coming to Simply Listed. So they're all already the correct size and you know cropping that you want. So you'll just select choose files. And here you can just really easily highlight all of the pictures that you want included in your template and click upload and then click save. Now, if you upload different mockups that are different sizes or photo cards that are different sizes, it may crop them because all of the pages do need to be the same size and you can only upload up to 10 pages. The first thing you need to do is reorder any photos if you want them in a different order. To do that, there's two little lines that show up above the tiny preview of the mockup on the side. You can grab those little lines and just drag them into the order that you'd like them to be in. And so you can just reorder these however you like. That way when they get uploaded to Etsy or when you download them, then you can have them already in the order that you'd like them to be in. The second thing you need to do with your template is add your design placeholder. So that's this button right here where it says add placeholder. You're going to tell us what size design you'll be uploading to these mockups every single time. So it is important that anytime you make a design to use for this template that you're using this size file. So for in this example, I'm using 1200 by 1200 and you can name it anything you like. In this one, I'll name it embroidered and I'll click save. And now that will add a placeholder to my mockups. The reason why I chose 1200 by 1200 is because that is the size for the embroidered pocket design on Printify. And that's what this one's example is here for. If you're making mockups for any other type of embroidered products on Printify, you can come to the design page, click this little eye information button, and you'll see the print area size here is 1200 by 1200. Or if you're using say Printful, then here are the sizes for the Gildan 18 thousand you can find those when you go to create the items you'll see the pricing and file guidelines and here you'd see the print file templates and you can see what size so for them maybe you'd make a 10 inches by six inches um, you'd have to figure out what that is in pixels though so for again this example i'm making a pocket design for a printify item that's what this example is for and so i made it 1200 by 1200 and now i just need to try and match up where that's actually going to be on printify so i'll just keep these screen side by side so kind of zooming in it does look like the center of the pocket does line up about with the neckline and then it doesn't quite go all the way to the center so i'm just going to try and match that as well as i can so again the center of this being at about this neckline and maybe a little bit far in and I'd say that is probably a really good estimate of where that print area is actually going to go. And if I click on this template and I lower the opacity a little bit, or if I tilt it a little bit, because some mockups you might need to tilt it, then anytime you use this template to upload your embroidered design file, then Simply Listed will rotate it, lower the opacity, make it smaller, will do all those edits for you so that all you have to do is upload the file one time and we'll add that to all the photos and you can just publish them to Etsy. 
So then once you're done with the first page, you can just click copy and paste to the next page. Super easy. And so here, maybe I will actually tilt this one just a tiny bit since she is a little bit tilted um, and so on. You can also just click the placeholder button and add the same one. Or if you're offering more than one embroidered look, so let's say you're doing a monochrome style where each color sweatshirt has a different color, then you could do something like this. We add another placeholder that's 1200 by 1200 and say, you know, the pink design. You know, you can name it anything that you like. And now when you click this template to make mock-ups with it, you'll have to upload two design files instead of just one but that's not what I'm doing in this example. We're just doing one design file, but this is very customizable. And if you have any questions, we'll make your templates. Definitely feel free to reach out to customer support. It's this little bubble in the bottom. You can talk to me or Johnny. Um, we even have some help articles here. If you are you know, wanting to see some answers, then those are available for you as well. And so we'll just keep going through and adding these. You could even add it to the uh, size chart if you want, if you have mock-ups on your size charts, you can add these to anything because now you're not the one that's going to be adding those. Once you've added all your print areas to all the pages and made the adjustments, you're basically finished. So you'd click um, the title and name it something. So embroidered pocket 18,000. And now I'll show you how to get your design file converted into looking embroidery in the quickest way possible. So my favorite way is to do it right here on Printify by using one of their mock-up photos. So if I click save product, you do want to choose the mock-up color that is the most contrasting to the image that you have. So in this case, really any of them can work because it does have a black background. Uh, but you'll see my favorite one to grab the design from is this folded sweatshirt if you're using this particular one just try and get one where the design's a little closer and if you download this one with a transparent background it doesn't really matter and then we'll be uploading that to canva so uploading that mock-up here to canva this is a super easy way instead of using your digital file that you can upload this mock-up and you will click edit and here you're going to be using the magic grab button so you will always need to use the brush and you can make this a little bit smaller and you can zoom in and you're just going to highlight the design. It doesn't need to be perfect. The AI for this is pretty good. So I'm just going to highlight my whole design that's on the mockup on Printify and I'll click grab. And so now Canva is going to take off that embroidered looking design and give me my own separate file. So now I can either delete the mockup or add a new page. The only problem with that particular mockup is it is a little tilted. So you may want to kind of tilt it more flat like it's actually going to look. And then this is my 1200 by 1200 box. So I need to make sure that I don't make this tiny because if I put this right here, then it'll make it smaller in the box. If I want it to take up the entire little box here, then I need to make it the size of that box. And again, I also want to raise it up to the top if I want it to be to the top of that box. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's saved. So then, you know, let's do two examples. I'll save it at the top like that. And then I will make this one a little bit smaller and kind of more in the center just so you can kind of see the difference. So you may need to play around with this and test your templates a little bit. So let's save these two design files and I'll test them both and show you what that looks like. And I'll save those with the transparent background here on Canva. So anytime you create a new template with Simply Listed, it is a good idea to test it. Now this, since we just created it with the custom flow, is going to be in our custom section, not our Printify section. Any Printify templates will be in the Printify templates. And this one, since we're uploading our own artwork, again, is a custom template. So now we just made this one and we'll click the three dots here and click test. Now here's where I can upload all of the artwork that I want to create mockups with by clicking this upload button. And you see this is embroidered because that's what I named the print area or the placeholder. And so if you add multiple placeholders, you'll have to upload uh, artwork to multiple spots. So this will open up a design library and you can click new artwork and upload the ones that you just created. So here I'll highlight both of these, the bigger one and the smaller one to show you. And see again, they are 1200 by 1200, the same size as my placeholder. 
And so let's test the larger one first and click confirm and we'll test the artwork. So again, this is going to ensure that each of the photos in my template looks exactly the way I want. The opacity is right, the tilting is right, the placement. So looking here, the test mockups are not full resolution, but you can still get a good idea. I think that looks like a nice tilt with the way she's tilted. There it is on that one and on that one. So I think it looks perfect, but let's test it again with that smaller artwork that was placed in a different spot. Since I already uploaded it, it's already right here and click test. And now you can see the difference of where you saved it on the canvas on Canva is going to make a difference on how it's uploaded into Simply Listed since we're just replacing that placeholder. So now you can see it's much smaller. And so this should match how you have it sized on Printify or on Printful, wherever you have it. So now you can see it's much littler. So then when you actually go to create mockups for these, you can just click the template and then now it's going to pull up the real artwork. So here you can click upload and now you can select as many as you'd like. So if you've made 20 different designs for embroidery, you can upload them all at once and select them all at once. And we'll make mockups for both of these just for the example and click confirm. You can also select if you want us to create you a mock-up video, so a listing video. If you do keep that checked, we will make a slideshow of each of the pages of your template and we will upload that to Etsy for you. You can also just upload your own video. So if you click the three dots and upload a video, you can upload like a size guide into the same video every single time instead of us making you one, totally up to you. So let's add these one more time. And again, you can upload as many as you'd like. Click confirm and we'll click attach artwork. So now it's actually going to grab that file and it's going to put it on each of those photos for us. So that way you only have to make this template one time. And now this process can be completely automated other than having to grab that embroidered looking file first. So now that it's attached, we'll come over to the approval queue and now you'll see you have a Printify approval queue and a custom approval queue. And we'll see these ones right here. So this was an example where I forgot to actually tilt the ghost. So like I showed you, I tilted these ones. Here's the bigger one I saved is the full size of the box. And here's the littler version. And you can look through the pictures and confirm that these look just how you want them to. If you do need to make any slight edits um, for just this one time, you can click edit and edit it right here. But in general, if you see that there's any big changes that need to be made, then I would consider double checking the design file that you saved or editing the original template to say make that larger or smaller or make any adjustments as needed. So now let's talk about publishing these to Etsy. You have two options to publish to Etsy. You can either click this button to select an Etsy listing, and this will pull up all of your draft listings on Etsy first. So if you have it saved as a draft, if your listing is live on Etsy, then you would just click this button and switch it to uh, active listings if that's where yours is. Now this does take a quick moment to load all of your listings, but once it does, you would just say, I don't have one uploaded right now. You would click say this listing and click select and it would actually give that listings ID and you can now publish it directly to Etsy. The other option that could be a little bit quicker is you can copy and paste the listing ID. So let's say you're in Etsy and you're working on that listing. You've already published it from Printful or Printify to Etsy. You can come to the end of this URL and you can copy this number up here in the URL and you can paste that right here into the listing ID and click this up button. And then that tells us which Etsy listing you'd like us to upload the mockups to. The last option, if you're not uploading to Etsy, is you can just download these instead. So whichever works better for you. But I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you love using Simply Listed.